Have you ever noticed how a good part of the North American coastline follows a circle? Or that South America is shaped like a triangle and a rectangle? Which turn out to combine into a Fibonacci spiral? This landscape geometry is based on exact proportions of the Earth's circumference, on the deepest place on Earth, and, in a very precise way, on both the position and the size of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Consider a line running from the Great Pyramid going exactly through the center of the Large Hadron Collider. This line ends up passing within 1.3 kilometers of the Mount Carmel Center, better known as the site of the Waco Siege. On this site, 76 people died on April 19, 1993, when their compound was burned after a 51-day standoff with the authorities. Waco is noteworthy along this CERN line because it is situated such that its precise location defines the center of the North American circle by being at an exact golden ratio point along the circle's radius, which is 2,160 nautical miles, or precisely one-tenth of the Earth's circumference. Creating an analog 2,160 nautical mile circle on the center of the Large Hadron Collider defines a bisector between North America and Europe. This continental bisector intersects with another great circle that runs down the east coast of South America and through the deepest part of O'Higgins' San Martin Lake, which is the deepest in South America and the fifth deepest in the world. The other point defining this great circle is Challenger Deep, the deepest spot on Earth. Notice how it also passes very close to CERN. Taking a closer look at the Large Hadron Collider for a moment, we lay out a circle of 86,400 foot circumference centered on the Large Hadron Collider, and see that it passes through all four of the collision points along the accelerator where the massive detectors are located. We define a vesica Pisces by laying out the same sized circle passing through the center of the LHC and aligned with our Great Pyramid to Waco, Texas line. This geometry syncs up with a larger circle that nestles between the Vesica Pisces and the Challenger Deep line we defined before looking closer at CERN. This circle has an exact circumference of 216 kilometers, which is continuing the fractal pattern from the continent-sized circles and the Large Hadron Collider circumference. The number 216 resonates across both terrestrial and celestial realms. The Earth's circumference, for example, is 21,600 nautical miles. We see that the Sun is 864,000 miles in diameter, and the Moon is 2,160 miles across. 864 is a multiple of 216. There are also 86,400 seconds in a day, reflecting the 2016 resonance into the temporal. Now, many have commented on how CERN's logo seems to contain three sixes. Perhaps that is true, given that 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. Following through, we see that a vesica Pisces of sorts is left once the sixes are taken away. Potent symbology 666 coming from the Vesica Pisces, considering that 666 is well known as the number of man. Again, extreme geography is playing into the mix with Mont Blanc, the highest peak in Europe, being 7 kilometers from our world deep line. Zooming out, we can see how Europe and Africa follow our alignments and how the Challenger Deep Line almost exactly separates Europe and Africa at the Strait of Gibraltar. The line passes within four kilometers of the African Pillar of Hercules. The intersection of the CERN slash North America Vesca Pisces bisector and the Challenger Deep Line 
define a precise location on the Earth from which we'll lay out the rest of the geometry in this video. The coastline of South America follows three great circles, each having a circumference of 21,600 nautical miles equal to that of the Earth. These three great circles form a wedge that is one-eighth of the world's circumference by one-quarter of the Earth's circumference. Notice how this lays out an equator along the north edge and a pole at the south apex. Bisect the wedge and define another perpendicular pole. Sweep out a line about this pole to the Ahu Akivi Moe on Easter Island. These seven statues face sunset on each equinox and are the only astronomically precise ancient feature on the island. This alignment passes through the southern tip of South America and precisely past Cape Horn, the most southerly spot in South America. We'll sweep out another line around our east pole to the region where the circle rounds into the straight edge of Chile's east coast thus completing a box around the top of South America. Now divide the top edge into a golden ratio and by adding a circle we see that the box is actually a golden rectangle in some sense. Copying this circle down will create another golden section line. Sweeping out from the end of this to exactly 45 degrees or 1 8 of 360 degrees we see that the west coast of South America is aligned and that we have another fractal of 216 expanding this pattern implies a Fibonacci spiral. One final line that creates another golden ratio division provides the backbone on which the North and South America connector sits. Adding back in our North America circle with its CERN to Waco bisector, we see that this phi connector comes within 10.4 kilometers of where the CERN to Waco line intersects the circle. So we see that dividing the western edge into golden ratio sections corresponds with the most significant geographic feature on the west coast, namely the isthmus connection to North America. Do the same thing on the north coast, and that corresponds with the most significant feature there, in this case the mouth of the Amazon River. Extend this line and it ends up passing within 20 kilometers of Stonehenge.